Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create a customer community user in digital experiences. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So usually if I am creating a digital experience, we usually go to all sites and once I click on this link, I automatically get logged in inside the uh, digital experience as a system admin. But that's not always the case, right? Normally, what usually happens is we are going to send this URL to the customer and the customer should be able to log in or whoever the partner or the agent, they should be able to log in automatically, right? So they should be able to do. Not always this, uh, we will go to the all sites and we are going to click on this link and developer or uh, the admin is going to log in. We have to provide this link and on based on the provided link, they should be able to log in. Now, which user is going to log in into the system so if i copy paste this link and if i paste it inside the edge this is how actually the customer is going to use right so they will be get re getting redirected to this username and password page so someone has to log in and now which user can log in into the system we cannot give admin access to everybody so there are specific set of users they will be able to access this they should be able to log into this community that's what we call as customer community user Okay, now to create a customer community user, there are set or series of steps that you can follow. Uh, one of them is let's jump into it. Like for an example, I am first going to create an account. Let's go over here. Okay, first just create an account. Okay, I'm going to name it as Salesforce in five minutes. Okay, account is created. Okay, I need to fill up all the necessary details like test. Billing street, billing city, billing state, zip code five double one zero nine one something. It's fine. Do the same thing over here as well. Right, I have provided all the details. Now rest, I don't need to. I think so. Okay, I'll also provide the phone number. Something like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay, now I have filled up these following details inside the account. Now I am going to click on save. Now as soon as I click on save, after creating the account, just go and create new contact. Now it's very important to fill up the man mandatory details like phone number and all this stuff. Okay, so I am going to name uh, this user as Salesforce Minutes or we can say Community User. Okay, so community user. Next thing, I have to give some kind of phone number to him. Okay, these are few fields that you need should you should fill up. Okay, while creating a customer community user. Next, I need to fill up the billing mailings address and all this stuff. You will understand why am I filling it up. Okay, now these things are filled. Now just click on save. Okay, your community user is created, but still it's not a user. It's just an account. And the contact that's what we have done now create a customer community user what you need to do is either there is a button okay called as enable customer user okay that you can find if you go to the object manager and if you go to the contact page layout you can find this button enable customer user that you can add i'll just show you once more contact not page layouts and i'm going to create a contact page layout and if you go to mobile lightning and actions you can find enable customer user or partner user okay pull this button it will be provided by default okay once this is done click on this you will be redirected to the user page so what's going to happen is you are going to create an actual user with this the details that you have filled up okay so i'm going to name this as salesforce in five minutes i'm going to give the same email in community at the gmail.com that's what i'm going to give the username as okay now one more important thing role you cannot give the role okay role is predefined based on the account and contact that you are filling up okay while creating a customer community user the role you cannot give the role this is the only time where you do not give the role to the user okay or you cannot give the role to the user so if that's this can be an interview question that if you are creating a user in what cases you cannot have role so while creating a customer community user you just don't have the option to create a role okay next user license you will understand how roles is created inside the customer community user uh, i'll show you in a minute so 
which kind of user license i want to create a customer community login okay and there is already predefined profile by the sales course itself for it okay now once that is done let's click on save okay it's not allowing us to create a customer community user to create or update this profile you would need to set digital experiences okay i need to allow the these are customer community user are considered as an external user they are not salesforce user but instead they are external users no so my the the digital experience or the website that i've created should be able to should be capable so that external user should also be able to log in so for that purpose go to digital experiences again go to settings and then over here you can see allow using standard external profiles for self registration so let's check it and let's save it now this system you will be able to uh, create a user so now the user that you have created is a customer community user okay he is a customer community user now but if you see i'm not getting a reset password form reset for password button right usually when you are going to create a user okay you get the reset password button but here you're not getting it uh, let's edit the role no we cannot just add the role okay so that's fine uh, but if you see there is no reset password so what we will do is because i need to uh, make this user log into this community so i need to reset the password of this user right so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the users and here is the user that i've created community user this was the community user that i've created right customer community login user so i'm just going to check it and reset the password but i won't be able to reset the password of a user the reason is because i have created a community user that's totally fine but this customer community user is not assigned to a particular community so if i go to all sites one salesforce org can have multiple communities right so the user that i am creating right now he should be the member or he should be an active member of certain community only then i can reset the password so i have not assigned this member or the user that i have created right now he is not the part of any of the community right now where is it yeah he is not part of any of the community right now he just created but he is not the part of any of a community so first i have to assign him certain kind of a community so oh, he is the part of this website i have to do that so for that purpose you need to go to the workspaces again you can go to the workspaces by going to all sites and click on workspaces over here so once you are in the workspace go to the administration now this is where the importance of administration comes into the picture in digital experiences you can set the members who can log in into the digital experiences so if i click on members there is an option called as customer so inside customer i can specify which profiles uh, which profile are the member of this community so i'm giving customer community login user and i'm going to save it now my things are saved i should be able to reset the password and even i'll get an option to reset the password yeah i'm getting an option to reset the password also what you can do is you can copy paste this username you can paste this email or else you can click on forgot password reset this and just reset the password the respective user whoever the email has been provided okay they are going to get the email and from there they can reset the password and from there they can carry out stuff right so they can log in and do whatever they want to so this is how you create a customer community user in salesforce in community digital experiences if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to the channel